Want to see something cool? Triple Tree Trail, just south of Bozeman. And I found this pretty sweet stream going under this little bridge. And it just, it's a gorgeous stream. What first captivated me about this section of stream was its sinuosity. Sinuosity is a ratio of stream length to displacement length. As you can see here, there's a very large bend taken by the stream, so much so that the stream length is marginally longer than its displacement. On the inside bend of the stream, there's this beach-like sort of landform where some of the stream's sediment load is being deposited. This is called a point bar, and as a result of sediment load decreasing velocity to beneath its settling threshold. As the stream rounds the bend, the velocity along the inner bank decreases, and sediment is able to settle. This contributes to a positive feedback loop, wherein sinuosity creates point bars, which in turn increase sinuosity. And that's pretty cool. While the inner bank slows down on a turn, the outer bank speeds up. This increases the erosional force on the edges of the bank and contributes to cut banks like this one, directly opposite the point bar. Sinuous streams are generally found in low gradient areas. This generally flat and developed neighborhood in the stream's catchment no doubt contributes to its meandering nature. This section is fascinating. A piece of vegetation has fallen in the water and disrupted the stream flow. This has caused a decrease in velocity just before the obstacle, which has caused a buildup of larger grains on the stream bed. Here we can see just how large the bed load's grain size is behind the log compared to other free-flowing sections of the stream. Overall, this small piece of stream is magnificent. The catchment size and gradient decreases the velocity of the water, which increases the sinuosity, which causes features like point bars and cut banks, and carries and distributes the sediment, constantly sorting and depositing it along the way. 